The Best of Iggy by Annie Barrows. Iggy's a kid who's continuously getting in trouble, but he's not a bad kid at heart. When the best idea ever turns into the worst idea of all time, he tries to make amends, but will it be enough? The Secret Garden of George Washington Carver by Jean Beretta. Passion and determination bring Carver from a baby boy born into slavery to a celebrated botanist, scientist, and inventor. It all began in his secret garden. Ends Edge by Dusty Bowling. On the one year anniversary of a shooting that took her mother's life, Nora and her father try to regain some normalcy by returning to the canyons for a trek. But a flash flood tears away Nora's supplies and, more importantly, her father. Can she survive? Charuco, Peruvian archaeologist Julio C. Tello by Monica Brown. Due to his sheer determination and perseverance, Charuco, which means brave in the Quechua language, grows up to prove that Peruvian culture is indigenous to the area and was not introduced by Spain, Mexico, or Central America. Our Friend Hedgehog, The Story of Us by Lauren Castillo. A tiny island is home to Hedgehog and a stuffed dog named Muddy. After a storm carries Muddy away, Hedgehog must be brave and leave the island in search of her best friend. A Friend Divided by Ernesto Cisneros. 12-year-old Efren's world is turned upside down the day his mother, Ama, is deported, and he becomes the primary caregiver to his siblings. Efren must juggle his schoolwork and his best friend's campaign for school president while dealing with his fears of what may come next for his family. Some Place to Call Home by Sandra Dallas. In the midst of the Great Depression in 1933, three siblings set out on the road to find whatever they can to survive. Honey Bee by Candace Fleming. Honeybees only live for a short time, but in that time they accomplish many wonderful tasks that help the world. Read this story about a honeybee and what she does in her short little life. Scary Stories for Young Foxes by Christian McKay Heidecker. Seven little foxes gather in the dark of night by the campfire begging for scary stories. The little foxes get just the thrills and chills they were expecting, and so will readers. The Oldest Student, How Mary Walker Learned to Read by Rita Lorraine Hubbard and Oge Mora. This is the true story of Mary Walker, the nation's oldest student. She didn't learn to read till she was 116 years old. Lexi McGill and the Teleportation Tournament by Kim Wong. Lexi McGill is a 12-year-old teleport science wizard. If you love scavenger hunts and puzzle solving, this interactive adventure is a must read. A Hat Full of Dragons, and more than 13.8 billion other funny poems by Vikram Madden. A laugh-out-loud book of poems about pandas, dragons, robot uncles, aliens, mosquitoes, and other various topics will have you laughing out loud. Follow Those Zebras by Sandra Markle. Every year in Southern Africa, thousands of zebras disappear from their grazing area along the Chobe River. A few months later, the herd returns. Where are they going every year? Tristan Strong Punches a Hole in the Sky by Kwame Mbalia. Tristan can't believe that the characters from his Nana's Tales of Black American and African folklore are actually real, and they can help him repair the hole he ripped in the sky over a monster-filled world. Can he entice the god Anansi to come out of hiding and seal the hole between worlds so he can go home? Act by Kayla Miller. Olive is excited to start sixth grade with new experiences, teachers, and a field trip to the big city. But then she finds out that a school policy prevents some students from going on the field trip, so she decides to do something about it. Words on Fire by Jennifer Nielsen. June 1893, Audra's country is invaded and her parents send her away. Soon, she's caught up in a growing resistance movement and will risk her life in order to reunite with her parents and help save the country she loves. Black Brother, Black Brother by Jewel Parker Rhodes. This is the story of two brothers, one with dark black skin, one with light black skin, and how they're treated differently in their predominantly white prep school. The Incredibly Dead Pets of Rex Dexter by Aaron Reynolds. All Rex wanted for his birthday was a puppy, but his parents ended up getting him a chicken that only ends up living for one hour. Rex has been cursed by the Grim Reaper and has to solve the mystery of the zoo animal killer. The Elephant's Girl by Celesta Remington. Young Lexington was saved by an elephant as a five-year-old during a horrific storm, and then is raised in the zoo surrounded by her foster father, her best friends, and most of all, the elephants she loves. 
Ways to Make Sunshine by Renee Watson. Meet fourth grader Ryan Hart. She, yes, Ryan is a girl's name too, is full of life, spunk, and wonderment. Even when things are hard in her life, she finds ways to make sunshine out of her situation. Created using Powtoon.